you study in the field, people. And so you see people in the comment section and writing on me things there was a man where you know, you know, you know, you know, you, as a man who me respect. Ratiga, I don't know if you must see the comment of the moderators. He maybe need to get moderators. And the people in the, in the comment, they were just so, they were going on and they were classing the man. And they were, it just was so, it, it was just, what? Mr. Wildman, a big family man. A man just come to share something with the masses. And so for you hear because it was not what they wanted to hear. They did not want to hear that Mark Golden is not supposed to be in Parliament. They did not want to hear that. Our other MPs who pledge allegiance to foreign, foreign states, they didn't want to hear that. When he was over there talking about Paula and Llewellyn, everybody was happy. Everybody had a grand time. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yes, Mr. Wildman. Yeah, man. Talk to them. Dedicate them. Yes, Mr. Wildman. God send you. Yeah, God people. Hey. And they, they rejoiced when Mr. Wildman told them that Paul and Llewellyn could not go down to the courthouse Monday morning. And they filed um, um, with full file documents and sent it over to the court and they were happy they were they were rejoicing that Mr. Mr. Wildman was their hero and because the man went there and just decided that yo I'm going with the law I'm stating the law I'm interpreting the law the people them disrespectful not the comment people you that thing say and I'm like why them I go on so by this white man Listen me, I've been watching, I've been studying the political climate. I've been studying this political um, field for the past, since, since COVID. Since COVID, I've been studying it. And I can be, and listen to me, anybody, I can be 100% on this. I've not been on any platform where JLP people or supporters of the JLP are engaging in the audience and look in the comment and see the type of rhetoric where I see on the PMP them platform. If you think I lie me I tell, just go over to Chopper them. Just go over to go over to Chops them, Chops Media. Just go over to go over to um just go on the platforms them where you see people. Um not 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 have a platform to she 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 um you know put forward a balanced reasoning but more more jlp um um you know she's more leaning towards the jlp it seems but you don't see the people them in the comment that tell people how oh, them are this and them are this and them are that and then figure yam this and yam that and very and it's like the pmp the, the people them get so conformed to some form of cult way it's crazy you know why is the spirit of mark golden the man has a bad spirit the man come with a bad spirit a spirit of divisiveness he come with a spirit of, of, of anger yeah, man. The man going to the church and them there beat poker drum or whatever and whatever they might do to him. And the man hold the microphone and say, I am sanctified under the blood of our ancestors. What? And me. As a descendant of ancestors, of the African ancestors, hear that and also nothing. A man where I try to be Prime Minister for Jamaica, go up on a microphone and shout out, say he is sanctified by the blood of our ancestors. And the Negro them rejoiced. A white man 
Imaginate. A white man. Where man says to them. Based on my understanding. Still. Have benefit from the wealth. Have benefit from the wealth. Of the exploitation. Of the colonization. And that man is going to stand. In the midst. Of a revival. We are revival we used to use to survive. It's revival we used to use. To stay strong. A revival we used to use. When the pain. And the suffering get too much. If Master allowed any revival. And he stood in the midst of a revival. And said. The blood of our ancestors sanctified him. Hmm? And you don't have a problem with that. But you want to go on your 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 YouTube or your you want to go on the, your YouTube channel or go on the YouTube channel where people are pro PMP and talk all manner of things. Look how you talk about Mrs. Mrs. and Mrs. Wholeness. Now you're saying, oh, Mark Golden has not um, um violated any constitutional law or any part of the constitution. But the other day you didn't say that when people were saying Julie Tolness should not be Speaker of the House. What laws did she break? Let me show you how Mark Gold and Dangerous. And listen to me. Whether you if you select Mark Gold and flee Jamaica, I will be fine. My children will be fine. Me just a talk because I see the country and a trajectory and it's 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 not perfect. We're not there yet, but we can see where it's going. You see? And Joel is perfect, no I'm not perfect. We criticize him for some things, of course. Case in point, I think him should have raised the government salaries to three hundred percent. But I may take time to raise a little bit. And give the teacher the Malika more, and give the police the Malika more, and so forth. I'm not, not, not subscribe to that. But I'm not perfect. And it was a non partisan, partisan um, 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 vote or whatever they did. They all agreed to the increase. Mark Golden, a British citizen, is getting $29 million around here per year. From Jamaican taxpayers. $29 million a year. A British citizen. What tell we say? No one has ever asked him to renounce his British citizenship and he has never thought about it. But he might get $29 million a year. And he has never thought about it. That is what people are fighting over. But guess what? If Mark Golden win the election, you know, when he call, you know, I will be fine because guess what? Me always a work. Me just want to see a Jamaica where people don't just sit down and think that because you are doing well, you should take care of them. The mentality that we need to get rid of brethren. We need to get rid of the mentality of them boy they now do nothing for me. We need to get rid of the mentality of oh them boy they them have the money and them not give poor people none. No, we need to get to the point where poor people want to work. Want to get a skill. Want to have them own money. We tired of man feel like say because you are you are doing well. You're in you're obligated to take care of him and his family. The PMP party, in my view, believe that the poor people them 
must be taken care of by you who are the well. And there are so many people who are poor who don't want to move. Them don't want to get out of it. I don't believe in a, this, this, you know, heavily tax the rich to take care of the poor. I don't believe in that, brethren. Yeah, people will pay taxes, yes. But I don't believe that people must be punished to take care of the poor. Because yeah, some people were poor and all them want to do is get up and go up and do a little mix up, mix up page them on the internet, go, 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 go talk and laugh and whatever day time from you know sick from you know medical issues you can't work from you know old you can't work we know people are Jamaica with farms and them not have any body to reap the fruits that we are ripe. They don't have nobody. You have, you have Jamaicans, you know. When I try to help them, you know. It come like I worst thing you do. It come like I worst thing you do, you know. You ever try to help some Jamaican yet, man? It come like I want. You come like I want, I want, I want crosses to take up in your life, you know. You get a lot of store, you know. And I sell little clothes, you know. I sell little food or little grocery, you know. I want them to you, man. Then thief out everything. Free spirits are like me cussing them. No, me attack it, you. Me not cuss them. I'm just saying, we have to get to the point where we stop believe. Stop believe, say, me if you work hard, and because me work hard and have it, me if you come take care of you. Some of them people are them to run back a entourage all day. And when night come, dada, daddy, my boss, my general. No, brother, brother, you can go learn a skill now up a heart, man. And because of that, because people have that mindset, and Mark Golding come now like him, come to be the voice of that type of audience. See? People think, say, yo, him are the one who come to save them. A lot of people think now. So him are the chosen one to come save them. Because I'm going go, to go make why you don't have to work. If Mark Golden come into power, you don't have to, you don't have to work because you're going to get hand out. Oh, I understand we have a free spirit. Yeah, man, them think I cost you, I cost them. Yeah, you're right. You're right, sister. They want me misconstrue what you say. Construe what you say. Yeah. In order for we, in order for we fix our country, it's not no one political leader that come change that. Our mindset have to change people. It's our mindset have to change. You can't just. Because the man they come and I promise him I go give you a better life. You think, say, okay. I go just run with him. Because some people come out. To the real. Any possibility when them say you have. Because I remember, you know. Remember, you know, people.
If we stay poor, we are easier or we are easily exploited. Understand that? If we stay poor, it's easier for the colonizers, for the people them who sit on top of the hierarchy, it's easier for them to exploit us if we stay poor. If you are work and you get your salary and you take care of your family and you rent a place, then the minimum wage of fifteen thousand dollars a day a week, excuse me, fifteen thousand a week. You can put a little overtime on that and you go like can you know it's not it, it no much but you have something right say so I want fifteen thousand dollar a week time maybe you're back with some bus fee or that or whatever so you're gonna end up back with ten thousand dollar or twelve thousand dollar and then you take them and work your way up and work your way up and do look over time and you work up your thing. That's not what the oppressors them and the colonizers them and the people them who sit on top of the food ladder. I know that they want to see you know. They don't want to see that. Because it benefits them when you stay poor. Because when you stay poor, you got thief, you got fight for food, you got fight for survival. Them have can put gun in your hand if you go win them political votes or gain them political votes, get them political votes. All of these things come with poverty. So the man will come and promise your handout. What are you thinking? Why? Because when you get the handout, you know, you don't have no steady income. You don't have no steady income. You don't have no reason to get up and go work. Because a man come give a thing. But it comes with a price. It's not steady income. Any time a man is mine, you. He may go use you. Any time you make a man mine, you. You have problems. You may go either want to wine you and dine you. Or use you. To carry out some illegal activities. And them have the prison system waiting for you. The prison system that is run by private corporations. Understand that. The man will tell us to put on the gun and go up a heart, go learn a skill. And that man you feel listen to you know. Is that money to listen to? We're living in a AI era, technological era, a IT, an IT era. You know, so right now, you have people with, you know, just the music field, you know, just the entertainment field, you have people where we need for like, um, social media management, people were distribution, all of them things there. Did you know that? If we have the right people them in us, we can set up our own distribution instead of giving fifteen or twenty percent to distributors that we are we are giving our giving that to now. And that 15 or 20 percent could go to some little ghetto youth, some lower class um, earners, where could be a nice income for you. But if you realize, say, 
we in an era where people stream music. What if you realize eh, the artist them, if we have the right situation, we can actually set up our own platforms and stream our music. In other words, we could go straight to Spotify, we could go straight to the digital outlets instead of giving our products to distributors. But we have no in-house people to take the time out and do it. So the distributors them are making 15-20% to just upload your music. They are not doing any marketing. They are not promoting the music. They may pitch your music. They are not doing that day to day marketing, promotion, getting it into the people them face. So there are so many opportunities, you know. That's so just like what the youth them figure out say then go over TikTok, then can make money. But they do not realize that there are other areas where you can also make money. Because once you start work with Mr. Vegas, Mr. Vegas becomes your testimony. Because me go make the world know say, yo, I've been working with um um XYZ and I make I'm seeing more income from my streams than when I was going through distributors. So this person, every time I have a song, everything is packaged, the artwork is done, the pitching done, the playlisting done, all of them things. I say, well, if I used to stream 1.3 million streams for the month, and now I'm streaming 5 million streams for the month, then I can pay you a nice salary a week time, and maybe give you a percentage of the distribution too. Imagine a man like I'll be in a man with them catalog. Be in a man streaming like 3 million streams per month. If you can get be in a man and another thing with sync licensing and all of them things there. There's a lot of things in the people. Sync licensing. Our, our catalog. Nobody's working our catalog. They're not working our catalog. Now and then you may hear a one I Nika Moses song gets in a commercial. Or you may hear you know, a one song getting a commercial people. They're not working our catalog. Now we have Netflix. We have Hulu. We have so many outlets now. So many companies that need music. But we are not we don't have no representation. So that is just one area of the market, of the workforce, the workplace, so I tell you about the workforce, you know. It's just one area that, you know, just entertainment. That is just entertainment, people. We don't go to agriculture yet. We don't go to ecotourism yet. Because I remember saying, you know, a lot of people don't want to be stuck in the tourist bubble, you know. A lot of people want to come to Jamaica. I just saw a, 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 a white girl just now. She was, you know, our, she took care of us at the concert. She said, I want to come to Jamaica, you know, but, you know, I've heard so many things about Jamaica and, you know, I'm scared. Because I don't want to come and stay in a, in a hotel, in a big fancy hotel. That's what she said to me. And I said, sister, everywhere has problems. And I'm not going to tell you that Jamaica is the, is the, is the you know, paradise you know where there is no you know crime or anything like that but like everywhere we have our challenges but guess what you as a white woman you come to Jamaica I've had many white friends they came and they enjoy themselves you see but people don't want to come and be stuck in the hotel People don't want to become, and, and, and all them hearing is Bob Marley in the hotel rooms. And Bob Marley when they go to eat dinner. I go to hotel, 
to, 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 to on the north coast and all these places and I go and I have another little vac I just go because I want to relax but I'm there and I'm, I'm analyzing what's happening and all I hear you know Bob Marley and you know, big up to Bob Marley still but it's, oh, it's overused and the same routine, the same food, the same is the food, just same food, the food. No, we want people to come, and you and, and we have we have we have tour guides who pick them up at the airport and take them to stush in the bush, so them sit down and get them meal prepared and them and them enjoy the real spices, not not mass cooking. When when them just cook, cook some big pot, and the food lack. You know, flavor so them full it of salt and pepper. No, we come on, you can we get to stush in the bush. You know? Agent Sasko Assassin, he's building his place down in St. Mary, right around here. When he finishes his place, that's another thing, ecotourism, where people can go enjoy the river, enjoy the food, enjoy the, 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 the that environment. You see? There's so many opportunities. This country is a promising country. But first, there are so many things for us to do. We have it. Assisting getting rid of the crime and the violence. We have to stop this a tribal. We have to be careful that we're on a road to somewhere. And because somebody tell we say, Rain a fall down the road, we turn back. Be careful of that virgin. Because sometimes people lie to you and tell you, say, it is stormy down there because them don't want you. To reach anywhere. And lastly, before me go, we cannot make a British citizen block us or block the process of us becoming a republic. It is time for us to move away from the oppressors. And they should give us reparation. That is not me being a PMP or a JLP. That is me being a descendant of our ancestors. But we have to even do this in other memory bridging. Because enough of them fight and died. And they could never imagine the day that we would be out of chains and shackles much more to have our own independence, our own republic our own sovereignty and it not going to be perfect neither we have a still have ties to the oppressors them but Rome never built in a one day you see and if we don't get there we're not supposed to leave it up to a British citizen well no one let go half of the monarchy. Obviously, if you stop the process, it's simple as that. So when you say, don't talk politics, we have to talk politics. We go to school to talk politics. We want to continue going to school, going to school. So we can talk more on the intellectual part of it. We understand the basic. But we want to know so when we attack, even the Prime Minister knows so we are no idiot. Even Mark Golden knows so we are no idiot. And that is the reason why we speak. Because we don't want them things so because we are artists. And we just write some music and we just go up on stage, go jump up. All are we dance. No. You see?
So, it's not everything we have to distance ourselves from. We have to involve ourselves in some things. Especially things we can better us as a people. That I think. You see? So what's best for us? And that I think, Bridget. Fighting and killing each other? No. Fighting over the white man? No. You see? No. Fighting for a generation to come. That we need to fight for. Yeah? So, big up on yourself. Yeah. And have a great night. <laughs>